Hi YouTube, how are we all doing? Well, as you've probably seen, seen in the, in my recent videos, I'm changing the bike. So what I thought I'd do today is really give you my thoughts on this machine. Um, born and all really, what a fantastic bike the Deville has been over the last... Uh, how long have I had it for now? Since 2011. So, over the last eight years, I've had this machine, and it's been it's been brilliant. It's been pride and joy, and I love you know I love every minute of it. Um, sadly, it is going to be going though because I'm now, as you've seen on my previous videos, I'm buying the BMW R1250 RT. So, what I thought I'd do today is do a little little review, my thoughts of the bike, pros and cons. And for anyone out there starting off, who likes touring especially, this is the bike to have. This bike, um, where do I start with it? Well, the Deville is comfy. That's the first thing I can say about it. It is a fantastically comfy machine. The seat and position, for those who like sit up and beg, is great. You, you know, your leg position is fantastic. You get a little bit of protection, you know, from the weather down here because the way the shape is of the tank, etc., and the furrings. The screen is adjustable, you've got, I think it's five settings, although I have only ever adjusted it once. One thing I did notice when I first bought the Deville was uh, if you have the screen on the top level, you get a lot of buffeting and it makes the bike quite unstable. So I find the middle setting is the best one for this. Handling. Well, when I first got the Deville, I had BT-021s at the time on the bike. And although she was alright, I just didn't quite feel at one with the bike. <laughs> that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Then I got uh, PR3s, put Pirelli, um, the Pirellis on. Pilot Road 3s I put on it, and this bike becomes something completely different. She was fantastic. So, if you're looking at buying a DeVille, my advice, Pilot Roads. Put the PR3s on or PR5s. Brilliant. They're absolutely fantastic. They, they work well with this bike. Distance wise, it does about 220 to the tank, which is great for touring. Absolutely fantastic. You know, for you know, you, especially on your long runs if you're in Europe or if you just run up to Scotland or somewhere. It's ideal. It, it'll do about 220. I mean, if you're riding it a bit harder, then you might get 200 out of it, you know, 190, 200. But for me, I find them safer with that 200 mile range. Performance wise, you have to remember this is a touring bike. I think it's 69 brake horse. So, you, you know, you're not talking sports bikes, but it will, you know, it'll, as you've seen in my previous videos, I had no problem keeping up with Ray, you know, so it's. It depends on how you ride it, and you are, you know, for overtakes, you've got to think before you overtake. You know, you need to be in the right gear. Second and third gear is about the best for overtakes on this. Two up, it does struggle a little bit for overtaking. You know, it's a 700, it's a V-twin. It's a little bit down on power if you want to be, you know, you want to do a lot of overtakes on back roads. But for just toodling around, Toodling, that's a good word, isn't it? Just for pottering around, you know, bit of touring, just taking your time. Then it's 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 an ideal machine. So handling wise, as in low speed, people always ask me what's it like, you know, pushing it round and handling it at low speed. Well, it's ideal. Thank you, sir. Kind gentleman. So it's, it's great for uh, 
from a handling point of view it's great to manoeuvre around your driveway etc so <clears throat> I do get asked a lot about that overall impressions of the bike then well it speaks, it speaks for itself you know I've had it this long I've done quite a few tours in Europe with it we've done loads of trips up to Scotland it has been it's been a fantastic bike now, I've, I've had a lot of bikes in the past started off with uh, Suzuki then I went to Triumph for a bit had a big uh, Trophy 1200 Tourer uh, from there I had a Bandit I had a Bandit 1200 now again that was a, a, a cracking bike <laughs> until someone knocked me off it that's a different story yeah, I got knocked off that one back in 2009 and I didn't, so I didn't ride for two years and the only reason I bought this Deville was to get me back into biking it was supposed to be a short step you know a quick uh, quick 6-12 months to get me used to the biking again and that was it anyway <laughs> yeah eight years later, still got it but it's been a fantastic machine so for anybody starting off in touring and you don't want someone's going to kill you this is the machine it's brilliant plenty of storage i've got the xy panniers on this back box now some people absolutely slate these they call them dull well it's 69 brake horsepower guys you know don't expect miracles and to be honest with you it's not actually that dull you know it's all right you can have a bit of fun on it but overall I have absolutely loved this bike over the years and yes it'll be a shame to see it go but you know times move on um, the demands I want from the bike you know I, I do demand a lot more now we're doing a lot more trips in Europe so of course I want a bit more comfort but at the same time I want to be able to sort of enjoy it a bit more unfortunately on the autobahn it doesn't do that well i'm afraid sorry about that mr honda but it doesn't you know the, the top speed on this got about 120 which is quick enough you know but when you're on the autobahn you've got mercedes passing 150 160 mile an hour and bearing in mind you've got a really it takes us time to get up to that that 100 mile an hour anyway it's not uh, a specifically good accelerating bike so you know, in certain parts of Germany, especially in autobahns, it's not really the bike to be riding on there. But, you know, for normal A roads, a bit of fun, it's it's perfect. It does what it says in the tin. If you want to go fast, buy a sports bike. If you want to enjoy the scenery, a bit of touring, and just relax, cracking machine. And you can pick these up now for a couple of grand second hand. You know, it's fantastic. So overall, I've the Honda Deville for me has been a fantastic machine, and it's just a shame that Honda don't make them. You know, I never understood why they didn't put the uh, they made this bike and put the VFR engine in it. Okay, down tune the 800 a little bit for more touring features, but it, you know, it would have been a perfect machine with a bigger engine in it. I never understood why they didn't put that V4 engine in this bike. It would have been a completely different bike. Anyway. So that's it. That's my review of the Honda DeVille. Absolutely fantastic machine. 60 miles to the gallon plus. 200 tank mile range, which is 200 mile tank range, sorry. It's a cracking entry level tourer. You know, it's what you, it's what you want. If you enjoy your touring, this is the machine for beginners. It got me back into biking, and I, you know, I didn't uh, didn't want to change it at first. So to me, I enjoy this bike, and I think other people would ride it and enjoy it as well. Don't knock these bikes until you get on and ride it. You know, once you've ridden it, your thoughts will be completely different on it. It does what it says in the tin get out there, if you want to get back into biking, or you want to get something just to get you from A to B, these are great. It's got enough power for A roads and around town, 
it'll sit all day at 70 on the motorway, it's comfortable, it's great on hills, if you want it for two up then it's not necessarily, it's comfy for a pillion, don't get me wrong, it's great for touring, uh, but if you want to do overtakes and maybe not. Anyway, that's, that's the end of the review for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.